15. Encourage your children to stay with their dreams. 10. 5. A public service announcement from Ballet West. Roll A. My cue is off. Good morning. The temperature here in Utah has been well above normal all month, and that, temp that trend is going to continue for the rest of the month. Let's go ahead and take a look at Two the current credits. temperature outside. Oh, so We're looking at 48 degrees right now, and it's cloudy outside. We've got okay. the south Ready, east temps. winds coming in at 6 degrees, National 6 temps. miles per hour, excuse me. The barometric pressure is rising, and as you can see, the days are getting longer and longer, so spring is just around the corner. Let's take a look at the national temperature map and see what the temperatures are doing across the nation. We'll start in nice. Boise, Idaho, where the temperature is 51 degrees and outside right now. Satellite. And uh, that's even above normal than what they have on the map, but it's, it's pretty warm there in Boise. In L.A., we have 56 degrees right now, and it's going to rise to the 80s and 90s throughout the northern tip of California. We're going to have a little bit warmer temperature than we've been used to. Those storms are going to settle down a little bit. Let's take a look we'll at the see. east coast. We've had oh, spring-like we'll temperatures see. across the central plains stretching out into the east coast. The only problems that we're having in this region is Florida. Florida over over to Louisiana. We've had some thunderstorm activity which is causing a little bit cooler temperature than maybe these tourists would like, but that's what's happening there. Let's take a look at the satellite we'll map so that we can see all, what storm systems see. are moving in and what what these storms are bringing. Let's look at California. That's the main area of interest. As you can see, the storm's moving out. It's moving out. We're going to have some clear. It's not going to last for too long. They're going to come back Sunday and Monday, maybe with some more showers. But right now, it's clear. What's happening is up in southeastern Idaho, we've got some storm activity going on. It's going to stretch into southwest Wyoming, and even possibly the northern tip of Utah is going to get a little bit of rain as well. So that's what we've got going on there. Over on the east coast, as I said, we've got the storm activity going along Florida up into eastern Got a minute Texas left. and that's going to continue. They had some bit. lightning there left. in Louisiana yesterday. So let's take a look at the Utah the highs. Well, Hi. let's look at tonight's lows instead. She um, asked for lows. Logan at 35, Provo's she at 36. Lows. The lows are really warm across the state for Pretty tonight. Highs. The record was set for lows in 19, let's see, it was 1935 <sighs> that they had a low of 11 degrees in Salt Lake City, and that seconds. was a record. Let's take a look at tomorrow's do do highs. highs. Tomorrow's highs across the state are going to stay in the 60s and 70s. St. George is going to pull out 65 degrees, but warm air is going to continue across the state. 30 um, let's seconds. take a look at our Wasatch Front four-day forecast. And you can see what's going on there. One, Today the we've got three right, three really, really warm temperatures. Two's it's going to be partly cloudy, but that's not going to cause any effect on how warm it is outside. Tighten We're going to have three. 69 degrees. 60s will continue throughout yeah. the next four three. days. And prompter even the warmer prompter. temperatures are going to stay one. in the upper 30s. Take one. So we're dropping off to some cooler so, temperatures. I like to ski a lot. Am I going to get a chance to ski again this year? Oh, Take plenty, three. plenty of snow in the mountains. As I said, the northern part two. of the state may receive some you more showers, which is going to drop a ton of snow on the Thank ski slopes. Thanks, Amy. And You're welcome. Two. Well, two. Jazz took on the magic last Punch night in Orlando, and we'll show you how they did. Rick Slade joins us Punch next to the sports. And it's all three wide. Ready to see? Roll C. It's all the sound. Okay. You would consider dancing with me, would you? I'd consider it. Then I'd say no. I'm not much of a dancer, but no. You know, I wouldn't blame you if you said no. Would you like to no. dance with me? Okay, we're coming out one on a right pick. Um, we will font him. If at first you don't succeed, you're pretty normal. From the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. One on the right pick, we'll fawn him in D30, how's that? Because I hit the fawn on the pick. My teacher tells us all we gotta do is just say no. Just say no. And the other day, a policeman came to our class talking about say no too. My teacher seconds. doesn't have to walk home to this neighborhood. And maybe the dealers yeah, are scared both of sods. Police. Well, I just have a, a sod. But they're not scared little, of me. Oh, crap. And they sure don't take no for an answer. I only have a sod. To kill.
Kevin Scott. Well, and I don't even know. I mean, take the long way what's home. inscripted? Uh, coming out. Five seconds. We hear you. Don't Ready, give up. one. Cue off one. Mike him. Last night it was a battle of the best home record, the Magic, versus the best road record, the Jazz. And Utah came out on top by 12. And in a state known for its religious roots, many people all over Utah are quickly becoming jazz believers. Right. The fans may feel this need a huge win, yes. but the jazz players were taking Roll it in B. stride. I mean, this guy had take a it. victory on Sunday yeah. over San Antonio, and, and uh, I will take it. I mean, I, we're obviously pleased uh, by it, but it's, it's no not tag on this season. Going straight and, to uh, Carl Malone at 14 seconds. No big deal. You know, we just came oh. out, and we did what Give we need to uh, do. Call. And we, you know, we got respect for him, but we played our butts off. It was a nice win for him. Lose it. And Q and take two. The Jazz were looking down on the rest of the Western Conference for about two hours with a half game lead over Phoenix in the West. But that lead didn't Ready last B. long because the Pistons were in Roll Phoenix B. and this game had anything but playoff intensity. It was all Suns and that means Charles had a big night. He got a three there. And just to prove that it wasn't luck, and tag in two, he came two. back and did it again. Oops. You're not going to see it though. He had a 30-10 <laughs> night, 30 boards, 10 rebounds. I don't have like that scripted Danny at Ainge all. also had a big night, had five for six field goals and had two three-pointers. And the Jazz and the Suns play one more time Whoa, this year audio. in Phoenix. Now the college ranks where the two-step two. max rule is actually enforced. Although no local teams will be in Salt Lake for the big dance, fans will still be able to see a familiar face. Former Alpha star C Travis ready, Knight hey. starts for the Yukon Huskies. The Huskies are the second seed in the West and will play their first two rounds at the Huntsman Center in Salt Lake City. And take three. Well, I'm definitely one of those jazz believers, Rick, so I'm, I'm with you there. Yeah, the whole state's starting take to one. believe everybody's talking about them. <laughs> so they're going to go for it? They're going to do it, you think? They've got take a good three. chance. Yeah. Great. And Thanks, take two. Mm -hmm. two. Well, Sarah Descanio joins us next with a guest who asked the question, guess who's coming to dinner? And Britain's oldest bad boys of rock. Punch the card. Taste of the Orient. Stay Roll with B. Us. Roll A. Take A. Take it. Take A. Dang, I blew that. Roll C. It's always sound. Sorry. Sometimes people just do mean things, and you can't do anything about it. But then, your big brother comes along. Oh, boy. I sure like it when he's around. Sometimes yeah, well, I just can't get The problem was, the first time I saw my script, I scribbled my stuff, and then I scribble it out, and then I scribble around that. He said he was a kid once too. When you need somewhere to turn, turn yeah. to your family. From the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter day Saints. I was so excited. I can blow pie now. Oh, listen, in it left. Like, we're yeah. I can pump high. It's not going to be very long before we've if I all been pumping, interviewed. 45 seconds. I can go very high. Come out with your pump. Yes. I'm going as high as I was before. How much time do we have for interview? Next time Three, your friend 20. insists on driving drunk, do whatever it takes to stop him. Slow now. I don't tiny fit. 30 seconds. President James Garfield could write Latin with one hand and Greek with the other simultaneously. David Muldoon used the bag of scrap paper to write I'm over so 6,000 phone have messages Hector for his anymore. adoring family. Using scrap paper helped <laughs> Mr. Muldoon to reduce waste. 15 seconds. Hello? Yeah, this is Spike. Is Tracy home? Sorry, Spike. She's out. Dad, was that the phone? Wrong number, Five. honey. Reuse stuff today. Reduce garbage tomorrow. Can you all three, Miker? Most of us have seen or at least heard about the classic movie, Guess Who's Coming to Dinner. The movie explores one family's reaction to a daughter's interracial relationship. Those are fun. Angie Burden Thanks. joins us today to talk about her marriage to an Asian American and about how she feels society 31. views interracial couples. Uh, Angie, thanks for being here with us today. Uh, what kind of a reaction did your family have? Take one. Uh, well, my husband and I, my husband now, but uh, Bob and I, I'll call him Bob, he and I have been dating for about a year, and uh, my family knew him and knew that we were dating, but they, uh, little, I told them all along that we were just, just friends, and so when we decided to get married, uh, they were really, really shocked, and Thank they... You. Had yeah, a little fire. bit of a hard time because they both came from Ew. small if you towns thing, where like interracial right marriage was just absolutely a foreign concept, and so they just hadn't been accustomed to it too much, and so they Crazy. kind of had a problem with it. My parents are great people; they just—they're not—they're not racist at all, but they did have a problem with my marrying an Asian. 
Hickory. So they didn't have a problem with you dating him? Anyone? Uh, no, because mostly I called them him my friend the whole three, time three. we were dating. I mean, he did things like she came to family dinners and did things like that with three, me. Three. But I always just said that he was my friend because of the fact that I knew my parents would maybe have a problem if we were dating. So there Hickory. was kind of something more before, but you didn't let them know. Exactly. Right. Um, three, three, did you three. date any other, um, somebody else from another race besides... And Asian? No, Take I one. didn't. I've never dated anybody but but Bob but, that was uh, another race. Um, did two. you? Did his family have a problem three, with two. him marrying a Caucasian? No, Take not two. at all. Uh, uh, I never met his family until after we were married. As a matter of fact, we walked out of the temple and that's when I met them. And three, they three. were shocked because they had only seen a picture of me. But it was during the middle of the summer and so my hair was really blonde and blue eyes and they were just shocked because I looked so different. I just stick out like a sore thumb in family pictures with his family. But they were very happy and they were pleased. They had no problem with our being married, Bob not marrying an Asian. Did now he's Vietnamese, right? Right. Now, how long has his family been here in America? Uh, they moved here when Bob was about two, so like 25 years ago. Uh, he came over, they came, Bob's mother was his father's secretary, and his father is American. His biological father is Vietnamese, but his adopted father is American. And he came, his uh, mother was his father's secretary in the Vietnam War, and he brought his mother and the whole family to America when Bob was two. Okay, so he's Ready grown two. up in America then. Yeah, he speaks English as well as you and I do, and he One also minute. speaks Vietnamese though. His mother made him learn it in the home as a child, which is a great Ready Ready benefit three. for him. Okay, did your friends or any two. other people outside the, the family um, have any difficulties with, with you marrying Bob? No, not really, because uh, it both yeah, Bob and I, uh, he went to BYU also, and um, so did all my two. friends. And so my friends, you know, they had seen this every single day of their lives. It didn't, it didn't bother them. There's a lot of interracial marriages at BYU. The majority of my friends go to BYU, so they didn't really have a problem with it. Okay. Um, how did, really quick, how did you and Bob meet? Uh, we were both uh, supervi three. supervisors for an access program. It's a big brother, big sister program at BYU. Okay, great. Thanks for being here with us today. And all the luck to you in the world. Back to you at the news desk. And take two. Q. Thanks, Sarah. The Rolling Stones are satisfying Japanese fans with the Voodoo Roll Lounge a. Tour. The legendary British rockers have cast take. their spell on Japan for the past two weeks with six shows in Tokyo. The Stones have one more show Friday before taking it to southern Japan. Big Bucks have extended the tour. Tickets cost $110 a pop. For your information, Dead Roll started late, so it's not going to end on time. $2.5 million a okay. night. That doesn't include profits made by sponsors, promoters, and merchandisers. T-shirts run $38, Ready and two. a sweatshirt is $65. Take two. That's a lot of so money. Asa, could you even uh, imagine wide? paying $65 for a no. sweatshirt? <laughs> not really. Not really. I, I, could, I wouldn't pay $65, but I guess there were a lot of people paying, so they're paying $110 Obviously. for a ticket, so. Must be worth it. It's a good bad. show. Yeah. Okay, bring the dead roll under. Well, that's uh, Community Cable News for Wednesday, March 15th. Thanks for joining us. We'll and see you tomorrow. Dissolve one wine. How much time do we have? 20 seconds. That's uh, ready to copyright.